We've got two eggs, a tablespoon of water, and a good pinch of salt. When you do this, you want to make sure you have no membrane left in there. This is pretty well scrambled. I'm going to start heating up my pan. And it's good to heat up the pan before you add the butter. Otherwise, you can't really tell how hot the pan is when you add the butter. So make sure you heat it up a good 45 seconds, 30 seconds, just to make sure it's warm. I have all my mise en place together. So I've got all my things ready to make the omelet. I'm just going to put this here and wait for the butter. In the meantime, you can always scramble this. So my pan's hot because I just used it before. I'm going to add my butter. I'm not going to keep lifting the pan up and down. That's going to cool off the pan. So I just want to keep the butter in there and wait for it to melt totally. You're going to be watching the bubbles and smelling for it. The second you smell butter, it's going to be a really amazing butter smell. That's when you're going to drop your eggs. When you drop your eggs, you leave about three seconds or so, and then you start to scramble. Just wait for it. An interesting tidbit about the butter. What's crackling in here is the water that's in the butter. What's floating on top is the, the milk solids that's in there. So it's not the fat part. Okay, so almost good. I'm working on nine. So it's, it's high, but it's not ridiculously high. You want to work in a pretty good heat. If, you, if your heat is not strong enough, your pan is going to stick. So you have to have a hot pan, hot butter. So wait for the big bubbles to kind of just slow down and then catch it. Okay, so I'm gonna drop my eggs. You're gonna let, let it sit there for three seconds. One, two, three. Left hand, right hand, and scramble. And when you scramble, you don't want to just scramble one area, you want to scramble the entirety of the pan all over. Get the sides until you get almost like a, a sheet of egg, a sheet of scrambled egg, and I'm about there right now. Now I'm going to take the pan, I'm going to tip it 45 degree angle, and roll it like a carpet towards the front of the pan, not the side of the pan, towards the front of the pan. And you just kind of get your spatula underneath there, and around here, I'm going to take my spatula here and get it here and just tip it over so that this folds under. A little bit different from Jacques Pepin, but he's using more eggs. I want to make sure my egg is sitting at the bottom of my pan. I'll move my plate so you guys can see a little bit better. And this is where you kind of change your grip and tip it so that this seam side is going to be on the bottom of your plate. And then you can always use your little spatula to get underneath it like this. Clean it up a little bit, nice taper side, a little seam in there, but I'd be really happy with this. Okay. 